guys welcome back believe it or not this is Betty even though I sound probably more like Betty's husband than Betty. I um, I lose my voice twice a year no matter what it's normally November and April but for whatever reason just like everything else I, my voice is running behind and losing and going this year so there we go um so I had a, another video that I had recorded that I was going to do a voiceover and upload for tonight, but um, my granddaughter came over and was helping me. <laughs> Excuse me. So there was no way to do a voiceover. And then I said, you know what, if y'all are going to have to hear me sound like this anyway, I'll just go ahead and do another video. Um, so these are some little journal cards that I have made out of some altered playing cards. Um, I picked these playing cards up at the Dollar Tree um, in the regular size. I got two packs in the box, and then I looked, and they had the jumbo playing cards, too. So, that is how fun um, to have the big ones like this. Um, so, that's what we're going to do today. It's not anything new. It's, you know, this is been all over the place, but I'm just, you know, I need some of these for my journals, and I was going to be making them, so I figured I'd bring you guys along. Now, I've not backed this one yet, but what I'll do is um, I'll put some um, coffee dyed paper on the back of it so that there'll be some journaling space, and for like this one, because I wanted that king to show through, um, I have off cuts of the patterns from where I have been sewing and making my granddaughter's dress. <coughs> I am so sorry. So, what I have been doing is just um, putting these to the side. And so, for the um, the ones that have like the king, the queen, and the joker, that's what I used was just those offcuts of pattern pieces. But, don't stress if you do not have a pattern because, let me see what I've done with it. Somewhere I have a pattern that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, so, I have got it out to show you guys. I don't know. I may have ate it for all I know. Who knows? Anyway, you can get a pattern at Dollar Tree um, that you can do the exact same thing with. You can use the entire pattern. Um, Lord, now that's going to stress me because I don't know what I've done with it. Hmm. Anyway, there, there are patterns at Dollar Tree. So you can purchase a pattern from Dollar Tree. Like pretty much everything I used was from Dollar Tree, you know, with the exception of like when I started to embellish it. Um, so we will use Collage Podge tonight, but I even um, have this stuff here that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's the Puzzle Saver. And this stuff is amazing for doing collage. Um, and it has a little... Um, uh, it has a little um, stick in it that you can use. Um, and then we may just use this so that we can use everything from the Dollar Tree. Um, because I know that um, finances are tight and everybody doesn't have money to just go out and buy, you know, collage podge or um, stuff like that. So I want you guys to know that you can do all of this with stuff from the Dollar Tree and a lot of the stuff you may even already have. So let's just go ahead and kind of get started. Um, so I've already done this one. So the first thing that you want to do with your cards is, as you can see, these are shiny. And so with them being shiny like that, that slick surface, um, you might get everything to stay down for a little while, but eventually it will rub off. And so that's where my Dollar Tree sanding block comes in at. And so I just take it and I just sand some of that, um, that shine off of it. And I don't care if it gets rid of some of the image. That's fine. Um, but you just want to make sure that you get a, a good rough surface. And you want to do it on both sides if you're going to be... Um, putting anything on that back side. And so you want to go ahead and do on both both sides now. And so that's all I'm doing right there is just getting that that shine off. And so 
the um, the larger playing cards, I have note, I did notice that they aren't nearly as shiny as the small ones. Um, you might could get away with not sanding these, but I don't wanna tempt it, so I'm just gonna sand them a little bit at least. And so I'm just literally running my Dollar Tree sanding block over the cards, front and back. And that's all that I've done. And so now I have a surface that they will um, that will stick down to. Now the other thing that I'm using are some of these napkins. I picked these up from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, most of the time, Dollar Tree has a wonderful selection of napkins. Now they, the image does not go all the way across the napkin. It's mainly just right down that middle strip. But that's fine with me because you could even use the white to do that so that it would soften. So let me show you how to um, get them back off of your napkins. Um, I'm just taking a piece of washing and I just take it and I just kind of pick until I can um, get a hole in that back layer. And then once I do that, all I have to do is just separate that back layer from that front. Now be careful because some napkins are three ply. Um, the more expensive napkins have three um, different layers. These are Dollar Tree napkins, they only have two. So you just simply want to separate that back from the front part of the napkin. And don't throw this away because this is great collage material. Um, like I said, you could even take this and put this down on one of the um, cards. So that's um, how I get my napkins prepared. And now the other thing, um, well, I'll show you. I've already got a few of the napkins that I pulled the back off of. And so let's go ahead and let's just, um, let's get started since we've already got a couple prepared. And so what I'll do, let me do, maybe do another one of each. Uh, let's get a, one of these bad boys here. Actually, I think I already have some that I've already done that I've sanded, I do. All right, so there's, I got a hold of that one good. And let's do this one. See, we can, I've got several that I've already sanded, so we'll see where we go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, now, um, let me get one of these too. Now, I've just got some cardstock laid out on my desk right now. This is actually from where my granddaughter was painting a while ago, and I didn't even bother to move it because I figured it's not going to hurt anything, and it'll keep me from having to scrub this little mat. Um, so, the first thing I want to do is I will do the one with the napkins. And so, I am going to, just so that we can say that we used all Dollar Tree stuff, I am just getting this thing of the, um, it's puzzle stuff. And I am just going to put this on there. Now, the only other thing is I might, rather than use the um, thing that came with it, I am going to use one of my Dollar Tree brushes. See, I told you guys, you can do so much just shopping at the Dollar Tree. And I know the way that finances and all are right now. Um, every time you can save a penny and get something from the Dollar Tree, yeah, yeah, you need to do it. Okay, so I've got the um, the glue on the back of that, and I'm just gonna lay that down just like that. And that's all I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna pick it up, and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly trim around it, because I don't want to cut it yet. So I'm just roughly trimming around that card. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this over to the side and let it dry. So let's do this one. How many of you guys um, get your a lot of craft supplies at Dollar Tree? Um, I would be interested in knowing that. Now, don't get me wrong, I love me some Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's and all, oh, I love them. Um, you know, but there's times that I can't always 
get stuff from there because I, I just can't afford it, you know, and as much as I love my crafting, my bills come first, and, you know, if I have any extra, then, you know, then I'll do it, but, all right, so I'm just laying this on there. So, I have found um, Dollar Tree to be wonderful, and then I've told you guys, you know, think outside of the box. Don't always just see something as being what they say that it's for. Um, because you can do so much with the, all the different stuff when you think outside of the box. Okay. Now, it looks like I got enough to do one more of the little ones. So, let's do it. And it sounds like my husband may be home. So, if y'all hear him interrupt me in a minute, you'll know why. He started a back at the Governor's Club last week, which is where he was at prior to the pandemic, and um, he enjoys it for sure. Okay, so now I've got this one. All right, let's do some with, and don't throw that away because, like I said, even those little pieces of scraps work wonderful in your um, journals and in collage. So let's get some pattern paper. And so you see as um, busy as that napkin was, if I were to put that napkin on this card here, you really would not be able to see much of the, the joker. And I, you know, I like being able to see through the stuff. Okay. So now my baby's home. You can open the door, baby. Are you doing a video? Mm -hmm. You can open it. I can pause it. Huh? I can pause it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My husband brought me dinner. So I'll eat it when I get done with this. But you see, um, the, because I use that pattern paper, you can see the, um, the outline of the Joker. You can see it all very good. So I love that. So let's do another one. And again, I mean, this is just, um, you know, the, I, I guess the biggest point I'm trying to make is don't think that you have to go broke buying craft supplies. Don't do that. Um, just look around. There's so much stuff that you can use that you may even already have without even having to buy anything from the Dollar Tree. Um, and that's, you know, that's the whole purpose of it to me is, you know, use up a lot of my stuff and, um, I love, I love when I can use stuff that is not technically for junk journals, but I'm able to use it. I love, love, love it. Now, one thing with doing the pattern paper is it gives me an opportunity to, um, go a little bit more crazy with the embellishment because I don't have to worry about the loud pattern or the colors or anything like that. Um, so think about that. That could be something. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have said that they have, they've had problems lately getting the napkins. Um, so you don't have to have the napkins. The Dollar Tree now has patterns. You can buy a pattern, and one pattern would do probably 50 packs of playing cards. And then I know a lot of um, like Walmart and places like that, every so often they'll put the um, patterns on sale. I know Hobby Lobby does. They'll put the patterns on sale for like 99 cents. Um, ah, so, you know, keep an eye out for stuff like that. Um, if, you know, if you have problems getting napkins, that's perfectly fine. Buy a pattern for a dollar. Don't spend more than a dollar, dollar fifty on it. You know, because you can get them for that price. Um, 
a lot of times you can go to Goodwill and you can pick patterns up for 25 cents a piece. So, okay, so I think we're good on that part for now. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. Now, uh, you need to let them dry. Um, you could get a heat gun after them, but um, just be careful because sometimes that warps the cards and you don't want that. So, I've got a couple over here that I had already done. Um, so, let me show you how I get the, the excess off. I just take my same Dollar Tree sanding block and I just kind of go down and towards me. And so, when I do that, it gets it off perfectly. You kind of want to do it, you know, at a side, sideways motion and down. Don't go up because if you go up, it'll kind of rip the paper up. But it's going down like this. And it gives you that really cool rough edge. I'm just looking to make sure. And it gets that corner perfect. So you end up, it's it does double duty because you end up with your um, your nice edges and your the corners are perfect. And it's getting that excess off. Look how great that looks. There's no way I could have cut it that good. And then here's another one that I've done with a pattern piece. And same thing, I'm just kind of going down and at an angle. all I'm doing. Now it will get, you will get some dust on you from this, that's for sure. Which probably is not helping my voice right now, but you know what? It'll be okay. And you can definitely cut them if you want to, if you don't feel like doing this step, just cut it. It doesn't hurt either way. It's just, this is how I, I like to do it. So, let's see, there's that one. I'm just getting it off, and I can see that I've missed some spots on this card, but that's okay, because you can use your ephemera to cover it up. And if the napkin tears or something at this point, it's it's perfectly fine. Because we can put labels and ephemera and embellishments on it and like really get it covered up. And nobody will never know, except for you. And in my case, all of you guys. <laughs> so this one, it feels kind of dry, so let's try it. It's not as dry as those were, but I think it's good. But I can see my corners wanting to be in because it is still damp. Okay, so I'm just getting that off. Just like that. Again, don't throw these pieces away because they're great for collage. Now, the next thing you can do, or like I like to do, is um, get some old book paper out. I've got some down here in the drawer. Okay, so I just have some old book paper. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna tear a little piece out and I'm getting my ink blender. Now my ink is not from Dollar Tree, but you can get good ink from Dollar Tree. But now my amazing blender 
you can't get this from Dollar Tree. You have to get this from Michelle and Clint with the Rambling Crafter. But it's worth it. Okay, so I've just got that, and I just kind of want to put that down there somewhere. And I'm just going to use glue stick right now because I'm probably going to go over the top of this with some of that um, puzzle glue. So I'm just going to put that down just like that. And let's see, what do we want to do here? See how my pattern piece is right there? I love that. So let's get a piece. And let's maybe do a little piece one that way. And this paper is super brittle right here. I don't know how old this book is. And I'm just going to put it right there on that side, like that. Even just like that. Look how cute it's already starting to look. And then, um, let's see. Let's do another piece right here. Okay. And so now I'm probably not going to like really embellish these much tonight because I want to um, have them go with um, whatever journal I decide to put them in. And so I'll get them to a point and then I will stop because I want them to be to where when I go to put them in a journal, I can, um, I can make them fit that journal, so to speak, you know, use some of the... Um, ephemera that I was using in there um, to kind of go along with it. You know, if it's a botanical journal, I would, you know, maybe put some mushrooms or something on that or, but I just want to get y'all, you know, to, to a point where you know how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to stop with those and now let me show you the next step that I do. I use, um, again, this is not something that you have to do. Um, I just mainly, you know, the biggest thing was showing you guys how to get it to this point. So up until this point, this was all Dollar Tree supplies. Um, I am going to use some stays on though, because I am going to want this to stay on, because I will be painting over it. So I'm just, this is some script, and I'm just going to put it anywhere on there. And same thing here, I'm just, you know, I'm putting two of them together. I'm just putting some stamping on it. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to get it on the book page on that one. So I've done that. Um... Let's see what else do we have. I have some purple stays on. Let's see what that would look like with maybe this says postcard. Ooh, that was dark, but it's okay. So say you can change it up by adding some stamps. Um, if you have floral stamps or something like that, you can absolutely do some of that on there. Um, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this would be adorable. Look at that. Okay, let's do that. So let's put some of this on her. Wow, I'm putting a lot. I was used to my other little ink pad, and then I... Okay. So I could put her right there. And I might should actually use some glue. Because this is a pretty... This is one of the Tim Holtz people. So I don't want her coming up before I 
glue everything down good. All right, so we've got her on. Well, I can't get my needle in there. And then I have some ephemera right here. This is one of the temple packs. Let's see, what do we have? That we can use all sorts of stuff. We have a dominoes card, we have a ticket, some airmail stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. Well, we could do something like that. Actually, I like that. Okay, so let's do that. Let me put this, or most of this, back in the thing so I don't lose it. I have been known to lose stuff, like, all the time. those up in a little bit so we can put that right there I'm just gonna ink it up a little bit okay I think I like it there Do have my goodness gracious guys I cannot get this pen in to save my life okay then I do have some of the Tim Holtz clippings sticker book so let's do mm, friendship I like that so I'm just going to grab that And then we can just maybe put it right there. All right, now let's go ahead and ink around this card. Just like that. And because I'm using the stays on, I don't have to worry about it when I go to put the glue. So now let's get a little bit of our glue. And I'm just going to put some of this right in here. And I'm gonna get my paintbrush and then paint it real good. And so this is going to seal it in. But this glue, um, it doesn't dry tacky or um, and it's not real glossy either this is some really really good glue actually and again this is Dollar Tree I'm just getting the little area that I missed right there and so now it looks like I've got everything covered so see guys, there you go. That's it. That's how easy you can do these. Um, I am going to go ahead and call it a night though because my throat is killing me. But you know, you can take your um, playing cards and alter them up to the next level. You can add your ephemera to it. Um, Here's the other one that I done earlier. Oh, I need to, let me do this because I haven't done that yet. Let's go ahead and ink her up. Now I'm getting stuck to this stuff. So I'm gonna ink this one up and then we'll cover, coat it as well. So see, I put an extra stamp on this one. And the same thing, I done a word on it, or not a word, it was a phrase. So let's cover this one as well. And then we 
can be done. And so the only thing I'll need to do is decide, which I'm, uh-oh, see, I tore that, that's fine. Um, I may not even put the um, coffee dyed paper on the back until I go to put it in the journal because I'm not sure how I will use it. So I'll wait. And then if I need something on the back, I'll put something on the back. But there you go, guys. There's some altered playing cards. So go run to the Dollar Tree, pick you up some stuff if you don't already have it, and get busy making. And I would love to see pictures. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know how you'd like to alter your playing cards. Um, make sure you go over and join the Facebook group. Um, so, um, yeah, that's it, guys. And I will be back tomorrow. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>